Hello and welcome to episode 12 of my series with Manchester Central, them boys, I'm Bud FM, thanks for coming back, um, don't forget to hit the like button, if you like me, you like the series, hit the like button, um, if you're new, feel free to subscribe, hopefully you'll enjoy the series, check it all out, this is the first one you've ever found, go down in the description, you'll find an introduction episode, five minutes long, explain everything, hopefully you'll like it, hopefully you'll stick with it, now... Since the last episode, I've played loads of games because I want to play Tranmere today. So we've got a bit to get through, we've got some news to show you, and then we've got the game against the Mighty Rovers. Let's crack on. So when you saw us last time, we absolutely spanked Lincoln, bent him over. 6-1. I couldn't believe it. It was amazing. Absolutely amazing. And we followed that up and we played Stockport, beat them 3-0 at home. Great, great victory. I mean, they started the season off really well, but they're starting to really struggle and they are dropping down the table. Um, but look at that. All the mates and that. We were, we were brilliant. Um, then after that, we played Leamington. We beat them 4-2 away in the FA Cup fourth round qualifier. Um, I did B team that. So I was just really happy to get through, give the guys a, a run out, give them 90 minutes. Um, after that, though, we drew. Played Wrexham away, but this is a good point because they were a good team, big club. Um, and they absolutely leathered us at pre-season. Um, after that, we went away and we played Bromley, beat them 2-1. Now, I B-teamed it. I give, they were bottom of the league, so I wanted to give the guys a run out. I thought it was a great opportunity and they didn't let me down. They got the points. Next up was Sutton. <sighs> Resting on me guys for Sutton and they were pants. I did not think we were going to get beat here. But, <sighs> I suppose you get to that point, don't you, where you're doing really well and you start to believe you're unbeatable and then you get beat. So we had to pick ourselves up, and we did, in a way, we played Crew at our place. Crew, who were a big club, they were a league club, in the FA Cup first round. Drew 3-3, got ourselves a replay, buzzing. Um, after that, we played Dagman Redbridge at home. We drew again, so we dropped more points. Really disappointed again, I thought we were gonna win that. Then, this game, wow, what a game. They went one nil up. We pulled ourselves back towards the end. Right through extra time. We had 10 men all the way through extra time as well. And we beat him on penalties. Couldn't believe it, honestly. Dalton as well. He missed the first penalty. After that, though, we played Bath away. B team did, took a risk. Didn't work. We drew. Gutted. Um, but after that, we were away again and we played Gateshead and we absolutely spanked Gateshead 3 0. Call Randy, got an hat trick. He's an hero. My hero, your hero, my grandma's hero. He's got, a, he's got his calendar. That's what I've got for Christmas, a Colm Landy calendar for a kitchen. Um, last game, Maidstone, beating 2 0 at home. Brilliant, really buzzing with this because I B teamed it again, took another risk to save all my players for today against the Rovers. Here is the Vanarama National, and we're sitting pretty at the top. Really happy with this. Um, three points clear at Lincoln. A lot of the bigger clubs are up here with us as well. You've got Hartley Pool in third, Forest Green, Mac Lads, Boring Wood, and AFC Fylde. There you go. Um, we've got no one here though in the goals or the average rating, which I'm massively disappointed with. Huss is up there in the assists. But we're doing well. I really believe we could win this league now. I mean, it's close. Anything can happen. But I'm starting to believe that we can win it. We'll definitely be a playoff team. But I want to win it. Right, the first bit of news I want to show you is I passed my C licence, Continental C. I'm now going on my Continental B. I went straight to the board and asked him, and he was sound with it. He's been brilliant with this. He's, he's quite good with a lot of stuff, Paul Maguire. Great chairman, great guy to work for. Um, so yeah, I am doing my Continental B, so I'm not far away from doing them all. I'll just say it's a bit boring. Quite quick to get through. Nothing really happens. You just click it and it says you're doing it, and then it says you've passed it. I'd like it to be a bit more interactive, maybe one day. Make you feel like you're doing something. Maybe give you a test or something. I don't know. Just, I just don't see the point of it. And I'm starting to remember why I never bother doing it because it is, it's a bit of a waste of time in my opinion. We had some awards as well for the last month. Um, Dean Moran came second in young player. He has been really, really good. Average rating has been 7.55. Scored four goals. He has. He's been great. He's forced Dalton to be a left winger. That's how good he is. But the best award of all is the Boss Award. And I've got it because I've got the award for top boss because I've bossed it because I'm the best boss and I'm a hero. And I've got my trophy right here. 
I have a hero, I call him daddy. I'll go to that cup for my son. So yeah, I won it. I got 250 points last month. Brilliant, that, isn't it? Uh, win ratio 75% out of four games. Uh, Lee Nogan must be gutted. So now the break with Europe is, has finally happened. It's happened and all the details have come out. Um, no more work permits. Apparently I'm allowed 17 foreign players in my squad. I think some of the guys are already European Union people. They're allowed to stay, I think. Um, and apparently Irish are now classed as foreigners, which is pretty weird. Um, it also comes with all this stat stuff, which I've never seen before. I didn't see it on the last game on FM17. It just looks so complicated. And I found a couple of young players, not world beaters, but they've got some promise. That Tom Talbot's got promise. I've loaned him straight back to AFC Telford, but I just wanted to bulk out my um, youth teams a little bit. Um, and I'm always looking. You, you never know at this level. One of these lads could become good, they might not. We might make a profit on them down the line. And that's what I like to do. Maybe get a player in for not a lot of money. Maybe develop him a bit and make some money on him. It's a great way of making cash for your club on this game. So here we are with today's opponents, Tranmere Rovers. Um, also, Graham, GW, I've mentioned it a few times now. He's got a series with these. I'll put a link to his playlist down below. Check it out. Um, but in this little universe, Dean Saunders is the manager. Bit of a Welsh legend. 75 times he played, 22 goals he scored. He's all right. He's had quite a long career. You might not be able to see it because of my head. But, you know, Tranmere, Chesterfield, Crawley, Wolves, Doncaster. He's been Wrexham manager as well. He was Wales assistant manager, so... He's had a good career, so at this level, I think he's a decent manager. So I'm looking forward to going head to head with Dean. Here's the match preview screen. Um, we're in decent form. I'd say we're really, I think we're doing really well. Decent. They're in woeful form. I think we can beat these today. I'm confident we can beat them. They're sitting in 14th in the league. 2 0, my prediction, I reckon. Here we are with the team lineups, and I've got a fully fit team. And also, I'm going to bench Dalton today because I want to bring him on as like an impact super sub, maybe on the wing or up front. Um, and Moran and Landy are doing really well up top. And Lynch, he's playing fantastic. Got Ussie on the right. I didn't think at this time of the year I'd have Dalton on the bench. But he is. But what a sub. What a sub he is to have. Here we are with the boys. Let's get um, serious. I'm always assertive. I pretty much say the same stuff all the time. Um, but I think you need to be serious at the start of the game. I'm going to say we should be winning this one fairly comfortably. Play your own game and you'll win. Ah, oh, come on. Expected a bit more than that. Let's hand over to Lord Kyle. Kyle Lord. Um, let's get this going. So here we come, coming out of the tunnel. I reckon we should be winning. 2 0, maybe. We'll have to wait and see. But here we go. Here's um, Lawton now. Can we get a goal straight away? I'd be well happy with that. Here's Moran. I can't believe Dalton's not on. I'm starting to doubt my decision now. But um, he's a great player to bring on later. So yeah, um, don't forget to check out Graham's series. He's a good friend of mine, great content creator. Um, should well be over 1,000 subscribers by now and he's nearly there. He's only on 900. If you do decide to sub him, comment on his video and say, Bood sent me. I'd love that. Um, good lad. I'll put a link to his series and his channel both separately down below in the description to this video. Right, we're half an hour in, nothing's happened. Apparently we've had seven shots and I've not seen one. And it's on extended highlights again. This is not what you want, is it, for a live call? Not very exciting when nothing happens apart from a kickoff in 35 minutes. Oh, here we go, here we go, come on boys. Moran, back to goal, give it to Lynch. Maybe it's because I ain't got Dalton on. Maybe he's the, the main dude. Is Moran has a shot, good save. It. Right, corner, ball. Come on, boys. Here's Birdie. Takes it with his left foot, curls it in. Good header. Oh, man. <gasps> Trying me. Free kick in the own half. Just long ball in it. A lot of long balls going up in today, I'm guessing. But I like a bit of long ball at this level. And there you go. Oof it forward. Moran runs onto it. He's got a lot of men around him. And that was. I don't know what that was. The end of the first half is rapidly approaching. He's dominating. Just nothing's apparently classed as a good highlight. Here's Birdie again. Oh, that's pathetic. Lawton pick this up, give it back to him, give it back to him, cross it in, come on Bird, give it back to Lawton, Lawton's having a look, pass it sideways to Hussey who's kind of out wide on the right on the corner of the box, can he get past his man, no, but that might be a corner, Bird it'll take it, come on, his left foot again, no his corners are off the ball today, Lawton had a shot but yeah. Yeah as we get to the end of the first half, I mentioned fitness, didn't I? look at our fitness, 
look at theirs. I'm hoping this helps us at the end of the game because it's helped us a few times this season. That's what's our time. First half was pants, really. Absolutely pish. It's nil nil. We've dominated. They haven't even had one shot. They've not even had one shot. How are Lincoln doing? Lincoln are winning. Hartley Pool. Where's Hartley Pool? Can you you can probably see him? I can't see him on rubbish. They're drawing against Forest Green. That is a big game at the top of the table. And um, let's have a chat with the boys. I'm gonna be assertive and say but No, I'm not happy. We've been the better team here. Keep going, do what you do and blah blah blah. Let's go for that. Now land his pants. No no, sorry, Moran has been rubbish. I'm gonna bring Moran off for Dalton. There you go. Let's see if that makes any difference. Right, they've kicked off the second half. First half, even though we had 13 chances, none of them were that great. So let's see if we can make a difference in the second half. I'm hoping so. Right, Tramme Brewster. Can they do anything with this? He passes backwards. I hate it when players do that. Hate it. But they're on the attack here. If they score, I will not be happy. Come on, boys. Nice long ball. Brought down brilliantly by Dalton. Come on, Dalton. He's passed it across to Landy and Landy. Bloody hell, what is wrong with these guys today? Yeah, um, some of you may not know, some of you may know, but I am a bus driver. And today, I had a little old lady piss on the seat. Tip, if you get the bus, never sit on the bottom deck on the first few rows and bloody hell. We call them the pissy seats. Right, I've paused it. We need to do something here. Now, my mentality, I've been playing counter all year. Let's go attacking. I'm going to go attacking and I'm telling them I want more. I expect more. Will this make any difference? I don't know because it's not been good, has it? 17 shots, only six on target. We've got goals in us all over. I thought we'd score a couple all day. Come on, boys. Here's Lawton. Gives it to Dalton. Dalton! There you go. Should have started it from the very freaking beginning. Get in. He's even done a cartwheel. A little dance like he's in dirty dancing. Pings out to uh, Lawton on edge of the box. He just passed it to Dalton there. First time shot like a rocket. Pick that out. Right, we've got half an hour to go. And I'm attacking now, aren't I? Oh, that was a bit rubbish there, man. What was that? I'm going to stay attacking for a bit. Let's see if we can get a second goal. Get my prediction. Um, I didn't put a bet on. Honest, I'm not dodgy like that. I'm not match fixing. Get my prediction. I might go back to counter. Make some more changes. Um, oh, come on, Dalton, Dalton. Oh, close, close. Also, look out on the channel this week. I will be doing my little special Christmas episode, but it's it'll just basically it's a giveaway. Um, chance to win £20 Steam voucher, and that was pathetic. Um, I'll have a little guest on the show with me, um, and that'll be, I'll, I'll tell you on that video what to say. You'll just have to comment in the video like I normally do, um, and then we'll do a draw in a couple of weeks. Hopefully, someone can use it to buy a game, use it for himself, use it as a gift. Um, it's just a big thank you to all you guys, and they've got themselves back into it. One of my subscribers is a Tramir fan. GW will be loving this as well. Look at that. Rubbish, let's make some changes, man. We need to get this game back. Do you know what? Hussey's a better player. I'm going to put Hussey back on the left. Lynch it. I'm going to bring off. I'm going to bring on a bit of bully. Let's say something. Pause it. Let's talk to him. Push forward. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, no. It's Trammy. It's Trammy. It's Trammy. And they're going to nick it. No, they're not. My God, I could not breathe then. So, yeah, um, I thought we should have won that. Everyone thought we were going to win that. I think you probably thought we were going to win that. Look at that 23 shots. Uh, I'm going to be angry. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah, demotivated, are you? Demotivated. Play better. Here we are with the Van Rama National, and we're still top of the league, which is good, but oh, we're lucky really because Forest Green and Hartlepool drew, so that was pretty good for us. But Lincoln won, so Lincoln have been able to catch us up a little bit. Um, we have dropped quite a few points recently. Hopefully the wheels aren't going to fall off. I might actually have to think about maybe buying someone or looking at the squad a bit more in, in January. But for now, we're good. We're keeping our fitness. We're doing well. Um, we've still got no one here. But you know what? Sack it. <sighs> one point, man. It's getting exciting. I want to win this league. We're definitely going to be a playoff team. But I want to win it. Now, I want to do good live comms, I want to play big teams in important games. So, I'd like to win the FA Cup, but I think we'll just get spanked against Bradford. Away. So, sat that, it's too close. Um, I'm going to play Aldershot away, Geisley away, Boston at home, 
Um, Forest Green will be a big game because they're up there. But I'm going to come back for episode 13 and we're going to go away against one of the biggest clubs in this division. One of our title rivals, Hartley Pill. I think that'd be a great live comp. Right, there you go. That is the end of episode 12. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, smash the like button. If you're new, feel free to subscribe. Yeah, I just feel deflated with that. Really thought we were going to be in. Um, it, it wasn't as if it was close. I think we dominated him. Oh. Hopefully you'll join us for the next one when we play Hartley Pool. Uh, hopefully you'll tell your friends about this as well because I think last time I checked I'm 198 subscribers away from 3,000 which is mental. I never thought I'd get one. Definitely never thought I'd get two. So to get, you know, nearly three is pretty special. So thanks for all you guys who are still here and still watch my stuff. Hope you have a nice day. Take care and I'll see you next time.